Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're located, accept all the greetings. I must say, I appreciate you guys subscribe, like, and share this channel. Welcome to another episode of our Devotion Taught. My name is Sister Jasmine, and I'm the founder of the Power of Prayer Ministry. We are a group of persons who love to pray, believe in the power of prayer. So each day we pray for our nation, our community, and our family. And we also have Bible study on Wednesdays and Thursdays. It's an online Bible study through the form of WhatsApp. You also can locate us on Facebook, Messenger, and Twitter. Today, topic in God's care. I would like to speak to you on the book of Psalms 91, verse 1. And these are some of the steps that helped me in my process. And I would like to take my personal devotion to you. Don't sleep. Just stick back and listen. Subscribe, share, and like. Before we go into the devotion thought, let us pray. Abba Father in heaven, we pray for your people in TV land, in social media land. We pray, God, that they will receive a word that comes from you. Hide me behind the cross. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I'm reading from the New King James Version. And I will read. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from snore and from fuller and from noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with thy feather, and under his wing thou shalt trust. His trust shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for terror by night, nor for the arrow that fail by day nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thou eyes thou shalt behold and see the reward of the wicked. <laughs> because thou had made the Lord, which is my refuge touch yourself my refuge tell your enemy my refuge tell your friend my refuge tell your family member my refuge which is my refuge even the most high that inhabitant there shall no evil befall thee neither should any plague come near thy dwelling for he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy way. Thou shalt bear thee upon thy hands, lest they dash their foot against the stone. Because he had set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. Will li long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Today's topic I want to talk to you on in God's care. Do you believe God care for you? Yes, He care for us. He care for all of us. As I mentioned, this Psalms it helped me through some difficult, difficult, difficult time in my life and I just want to carry my personal devotion to you my YouTube fan, my Facebook fan, the fan of Power of Prayer Ministry but this day I wanted just to focus on Psalms 91 verses 1 and I also will share along scriptures in the topic in God's care what the word dwelling mean is a verb, live or stay, a verb that describe an action. 
in Psalms 27 verses 5. For in the time of trouble he shall eat me in the pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle. She eat me and it shall set me up upon a rock. So God is telling us that he will set us up on a rock when we live for him, when we do his will, not our will. I also want to draw your attention to the book of Psalms 31 verse 20. In Psalms 31 verse 20, it says, Thou shalt eat them in the secret of the present from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in the provision for the cliff of the tongues. You know, sometimes you're going through your journey and person always have something negative to say or something positive to say. Sometimes people, you know, what you never expect them to speak negative with their tongues over you. You know, it, it feels bad. But remember that when that time come or if you're going through that season, he that dwell, he that live, come on now, touch yourself, touch yourself. Encourage yourself. Glory to God. Even though you're going and a lot of person have something negative to say about you, but you are dwelling in God's secret place. Do not move away from God's secret place. Dwell in a secret place. Glory to God. Provision. A very... A provision is something that provides for you. Open it have two sides. As, 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 as a dictionary described that a pavilion have two sides. And, and, and God said that he will protect you from all around. He's going to protect you. It's not just one side, but all around. From the tongues that people speak negative about you. So if you are going through your series, don't worry. If people say bad things about you, it's okay. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 to 22, it says, My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my saying. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the middle of their heart. For they are life unto thee that find them and help to all that flesh the word of God in your best health insurance. What I said? God is your best health health insurance no so if you are sick do not give up stay in the dwelling part of Jesus if you are financially stressed out stay in the pavilion of Jesus stay in a secret place because when you are in a secret place I can guarantee that you are protected as I mentioned the pavilion is have two sides so God cover you from the left and from the right, from the back and from the front. Be encouraged in God's care. In Psalm 17 verse 8, it says, Keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hid me in the shadow of your wings. Now, I'm from Jamaica. Yeah, I wrote my Jamaica shirt today. And imagine if you are close your eyes, those who are not from the Caribbean and those who from the Caribbean just close their eyes and imagine a hen with chicken um, they say come on fowl and when you are coming even though you are big than the hen but he put up his wings the God that we serve in God's care he put his wings around us he shield us when we trust him, when we dwell in his secret place. In Psalms 91 verse 1, he said, In he that dwelleth in the secret place, when we dwell, God will give us revelation. You remember the wise man when, when, when the king tried to, to trick them, but when they meet Jesus, they change the way that they were going and go another way. When you have the secret place of the most high and people want to hurt you, people say negative things about you, people want to just break you in pieces, God will prevent you. God will cover you. God will guide you. God will deliver you. Talk to yourself tonight. No more cry. Don't want to cry. 
don't want to cry to your bed tonight again. Remind you, the devil, that you are in the secret place of the Most High. And if you are in the secret place of the Most High, nothing cannot cover you. But remember, you know, you have to stay in the presence of God. Forget these kind of benefit. In Psalms 32 verse 7, it says, Thou art my hidden place. Thou shalt preserve me from the trouble. Thou shalt compass me, me about with songs of deliverance. When you are in the secret place of the Most High, it will compass you. So I said, God, what do the word compass mean? Right? And compass mean is an instrument that point with shows the direction. So, so it's an instrument that show the direction. So, so God will show you the direction that you were supposed to go because he compass you, he preserve you. What, what preserve mean? Preserve meaning that you, he put you in a vase, he cover you. When, when you, when you make the homemade jam and you preserve it, it covered, it, it, it cover you. Glory to God. But you have to dwell in his secret. You have to follow his instruction. I want you to understand that when you're in the secret place of the most high, he draw a circle around you. The word of God said that Elijah's servant was, was feeling away because the Syrians in a threat. And the word of God said that Elijah prayed for his servant. And when Elijah prayed for his servant, the servant eyes open and he see that God surround the Syrian. I want to tell you in TV land, YouTube, social media, God preserve you. God put you in a circle. No weapon that form against you shall prosper. You are the head and not the tail. Glory to God. He deliver you. He set you free. It's an action. When you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, God set action in place. In Psalm 17 verse 8, it said, Keep me as the apple of your eyes. Hid me under the shadow of the wings. So when, 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 we, when God restore us and when God keep us, He keep us as the apple of His eye. Glory to God. In Deuteronomy 32 verse 10, it said, he that found him in the desert, land and the waste, hollow wilderness, he lead him about, he instruct him, he keep him as the apple of his eye. So wherever you go, as long as you are in the secret place of the most eye, you are okay. So if they talk bad about you, if you are sick, if you are financially embarrassed in God's care, that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress in him will I trust. Will you trust him today? Will you give him a chance? There is benefit of serving God. Let us pray. Have a Father in heaven. We want to thank you for the benefit that you have to offer. Father, I pray that you reveal your secret to your people. And I pray, God, that they will understand heaven timetable. They will understand heaven. Rem, Lord. They will be heaven minded. And whatever is going, Lord, they will not let go. They will be encouraged. Because you said it, Lord, and we believe it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, subscribe and share. God bless you. Keep sweet until we meet again. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.